Hello, hello, friends. Ryan here, and it's time for more Star Wars and the Divine Force. And we just made it to a new town of Koto. And we have Theo over there, who is a mysterious force that commands the knights in this town. Who has the rot taken hold of it? We hopefully can help it out with Helga disease. But hope you enjoy this episode. And we're next sponsor to previous video slash live stream, but not this one. And I'm excited to get to a new town. Do you know the cause of the outbreak in Kado? A blackguard who is purposefully spreading the disease. Hence why these forces have been mobilized. Purposefully spreading? Correct. It just so happens that as the first townspeople fell ill, rumors of a young woman clad in strange garb began to circulate. She is the reason I'm here. Your companions too are dressed in rather unique attire. All things considered, I can understand why my men were so quick to engage you. A woman in strange garb? Wait, do you mean Chloe? Ah, good to know we may have a new lead. The only thing, the only thing about that is that Ray has not spread any strange disease anywhere. So why would Chloe? I think it might be someone else. I wouldn't think Chloe is dangerous to the people here. Elgar's disease has been around for a while. It killed Nina's father seven years ago. So it's something that's actually around in this world. Oh, you dropped your earring. I'm sorry. It's another time to walk slowly with the person we're following. Got it. And the town seems pretty happy. People are out and about. Soldiers, too. Need to keep our eyes. I like your red armor. It wasn't too far to go, thank goodness. Now, if you would all accompany me to my office. Oh dear, we're still walking. At least it's on this floor, it looks like. It's not like the next floor up. Duma. Duma's everywhere. Now then, you two. Mind introducing yourselves? I believe I'm long overdue an introduction. Well, aren't you self-important? As I've explained before, we are in pursuit of a woman in peculiar garb. And to my eye, it would seem you bear some connection to her. Oh, and what if I did? Then I would take you in for questioning. I should have already done so the moment I laid eyes on you. You are too suspicious by half to keep the company of one such as her. Enough of this, cousin! Cousin? cousin? You overstep your bounds. You will treat these two with utmost civility. Someone feels strongly. Do you, Albie? Albie? In truth, we would not have made it nearly this far without their assistance. And can we leave that nickname in the past where it belongs? <laughs> Did not expect that. Even if you say they are to be trusted, who am I to believe otherwise? Hmm, I suppose a maester wouldn't tag along with just anyone. Speaking of your party, am I correct in assuming you're Maester de Forge's daughter? Whoa, you know who I am? I happen to be a member of the Kingsguard when His Majesty visited Delric for your father's funeral. Oh, sorry to be blunt, but who are you exactly? I get that you know Albert and Leticia, but they've never mentioned you before. I am Theo Clemrath, son of Duke Lumbert Clemrath, brother to His Majesty the King, cousin to Princess Leticia. Clemrath? Wait, Theo, as in Commander Theo of the Assyrian Naval Forces? Uh, I'm so sorry! There's no need to be, I assure you. Any friend of Albie and Letty's is a friend of mine. 
However, I can't be friends with those whose names I don't yet know. So, would you care to rectify the situation? I am Raymond Lawrence. And I'm Elena. Well then, Ray, Elena, I think it's high time we got to talking. I'm sure there's much to discuss. If it weren't for Letty, I think you'd lost your minds. I know it's crazy, but that woman you're after could be one of my crewmates. And if it is, there's no way she's the source of the rot. Though I'm inclined to believe you, our political situation with the Empire complicates matters. Residents of Baldar Citadel are evacuating in droves, seeking safe harbor in the capital in Kato. Many suspect that a number of Imperial spies have used this exodus to slip unseen into our lands. The People's Guard is up. Anything outside the norm is viewed askance. So the commons have seen this woman, then? Eyewitness reports claim she was spotted near the Tynes. Soon after the encounter, the rot took hold here, to which many and more succumbed. As much as I would like to investigate further, I can't risk it. The mountains are far too dangerous. Is there truly not to be done? Yes, as it stands. We are severely shorthanded. You saw how I was the only one who responded to your commotion with the guards. Well, if you require helping hands... Then you're in luck, because you've come to the right people. We'll investigate for you. Of course. Theo, Nina and Elena have made the discovery of the century. They have found a cure for Helgar. What? Uh, and it just so happens the herbs we need can be found on that mountain. Commander, I know the place is dangerous, but could you allow us access to the times? Please, cousin. How can I say no? It's not every day Letty thinks to use the word please with me. I would like to offer you something in return, though. Perhaps I can make some headway in the search for your comrade. So, what should I know about her? Well, her name's Chloe Cameras, and she'll probably be dressed like us. What sorcery is this? She's a jumpy one, so no wanted posters or anything like that, got it? As you wish. Likewise, refrain from pulling that trick again. The townspeople are on edge enough as it is. Well, I burst. It has been quite some time since we have had word from Welch. Perhaps we ought pay a visit ourselves sometime. Yeah, that's where we started last time, but that's fine. All right, so we met this new guy, and I burst out laughing. I had to meet it, but I burst out laughing when he called um, Albert and Albie. I was like, yes. I must confess, I never dreamed so foolhardy a plan would reap such bountiful rewards. Indeed. I assumed it would be impossible to yoke the Maester Felgreed to our cause. And it would have been if not for Ray. He has been a great help to us. Then the kingdom owes your companion a debt of gratitude. That said, judging by the Maester's ill humor, he hardly seems taken with the idea of offering assistance. I cannot deny that he has his fair share of reservations. And while I have no intention of coercing him... There's Albie's arm to consider. Precisely. It is for that reason alone the Maester travels with us. Or so he claims. So, his feelings notwithstanding, he's promised to join you as far as the capital. Theo? A word of caution. Do not get your hopes up. All of this may come to naught. Our situation grows more dire every day. More drastic measures may need to be taken. Yes, I am aware. Okay, interesting. Remember what I said. I'm just worried about you, Letty. That's all. That's kind of him. That's her cousin. 
Where'd everyone else go on my team? Yes, they're exploring the town as well. I want in. I know what they're talking about. Yeah, I can't look at anything in this place. Great. I want to explore I'm more. I'm curious to see the state of the infirmary. Okay. Damn that Theo! <laughs> of all the people to directly address me by my childhood nickname. Yeah, when he called him Albia, burst out laughing. He's like, "Yes, that's great." I can't go that way. Got it. I run faster then. Is the infirmary? I've got the power of karma running through my veins. I'll show you what a hot-blooded man of the sea can do. Fire! Oh, you're a beginner. Ooh, I want to play, but let's play later. Pardon us. Oh, this isn't the right building, is it? This is the tavern. Who are you? Oh ho! Are you an Esoa player? I would very much enjoy a bout against you. Uh, no level 5 masters at the moment. Thank you, Nyx. Oh, so we gotta go way over there. Okay. It is possible we may both find a cure for Helgar's disease and locate Ray's missing companion. Prepare to depart at once. Someone's over here. Ray! Where the hell could Chloe be? Uh, I hope she's alright. He's a good captain. Ooh, Dumas coins. I wonder if a quest over there? We're missing a few characters. I'll go get that quest later. The climb up Mount Cotterinth will undoubtedly be an arduous one. It would behoove us to be well prepared. Oh wait, we gotta explore this town then. I didn't know we were leaving town. Oh, got some of them and found the water. Would there exist a seabird here spreading the rot in the same manner witnessed in Rifle? That's a possibility, huh? How exquisite. Indeed. How do I get up there? Have you met the Asoa crazed fortune teller in town yet? She actually not 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 hold on. Play me first and I'll tell you. Okay. Well, no. Sorry. You're quite high level. We're still beginner. Have you seen the living armor that haunts the Cotterinth region? We have not been able to defeat it. We come back with our tails between our legs after every attempt. Perhaps you could contend with it? Perhaps. Oh, a quest, yes. I wasn't paying attention. I was like, he's talking. Defeat an indestructible enemy, even a soldier of Arceus could not fail. Oh, okay, these. It does me great shame to request such a thing. The safety of the people must be thought of first. Okay. Excuse me. That's cool. Any other quest? I guess I should start scanning around here. Target sighted. E? Pleasure somewhere nearby. I didn't go this way. Wait, how do I get up there? Is it on top of the roof? Just do my points. Nice. And treasure. How exquisite. Ah. Oh, no, 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 don't fall off. See, that's my way up here. Oh, there's an item over this way. Nice. Give me goodies. Amber pendant. Yeah. Just 
stuff everywhere. Oh wow, this sound goes up. So she's definitely gonna fall if I'm not careful. Oh, exquisite. Think go up here. Wait, oh up there. Alright. Yeah, I'm just kind of running around looking for items at the moment. You want to play a Soa? An ill omen. Say, you there. Play around against me, and I'll tell you a fortune. Ah, you're an expert. Okay, we need to go to the tavern. <laughs> we really need to go to the tavern and play that guy. We can't get some food in us, which might be good. Check out the inn. Are you a soa player by chance? Barely. The butler told me about you. Very well. Let us play around together. Your butler? <laughs> oh, you're sweet. Hail! The Cuddle Inn welcomes you. Alright. Ooh. Eat salt grilled sorry? Is that a fish? Sorry grilled to perfection and sprinkled with salt. Crunchy outside, soft and flaky inside. Thousand plus ten percent. Sushi. Made from fresh fish caught locally. It takes extensive training to get the perfect shape. Until intellect plus ten percent plus thirty percent damage dealt on a crit hit. Ooh. Pasta pepperoncino? Peppercorn Sino? Pepperoncino? I can't say it. Pasta tots of garlic, olive oil, and red chili. Pepper sauce. Simple yet refined flavor. Will not flinch from damage less than 16% of max HP. Cancel causing 30% defense. Negative minus 15, 15 seconds. Hail. I'll go for this one. No, the second one. The expensive one. We have a lot of money, not a fall. Simply delightful. Give us a few buffs for battle. Have a wonderful Let us be about it. Sorry, I just ran into you. I thought they said they wanted to like look at the infirmary or something, but maybe not. Can't believe the rot's already taken hold here. At least it's not as bad as Rifle. Yet. Once the town finds out there's a cure though, panic may set in. I believe you and Dr. Vanell were right to keep quiet about our discovery. I guess, but that doesn't make me feel any better. These people need help, and I can't offer it. That is hard. Rough. Very rough. I just really hate not being able to do anything. Well, you gotta get the cure made first before you can tell people about it. A natural fortress? It seems our exploration of Mount Cotterinth will not be an easy one. Indeed. Is this a clinic? Uh -huh. Hopefully we can help the people out later on. Well, no, but pri no private actions that I can tell. Oh, exquisite. Uh, is it up top? Can we get up here? Oh yes, do my coins. Coin points. Target sighted. Oh I know. I just gotta get over there. Oh it's under there, okay. I that was on the roof. Oh, exquisite. Mechanical gears. Totally missed it. I was like, let me just go up 
on the roof a lot. Let's play. I got the power of Kato running through my veins. It'll be fine. I shall give you no quarter. I feel like this board could be so much bigger, but I think later on the boards get bigger, maybe. Let's see. Elite when placed on the board inflicts damage equal to its attack. Place on the board inflicts damage equal to attack. Okay, two elites. Soldier. After you place three soldier pawns on the board, you can put down another pawn. And Berserker. When adjacent to other pawns, increase attack by 30 for each of these pawns. Okay. Go here. Back. Is that another elite? Okay. You here. We have two MP now. Second turn. Try the Berserker. Strong piece out there, okay. I'm gonna need a special soon, right? All right, did some damage, Lenneth. This board earns one more MP than normal pawns. Sounds like a winner. This would be a safe place to put her. It doesn't seem like a good place. Hmm. I don't want her to get destroyed. We're gonna have to put someone down there probably. Should be okay to put her here. Doing the same amount of damage. Put a soldier down here. We're trying to block them in. So, I'll reduce your opponent's MP by two. Okay, that's good. There we go. Nice. And get that other one in a moment. Lock them all in. You have a lot less attack now, too. Another gun or your opponent to me by two. Okay, you have one right now, so we'll wait on that. Put another soldier down. I'll block them in just by putting one more down looks like so let's oh I can't place anybody there well that sucks huh get you Maybe we have our new soldier got a new pawn just do a lovely attack we have 400 attack now. I think we're gonna win soon. So we can just do a uh, flame charge. Yeah, okay. And then the gunners, if I have no MP, or at least only one. I mean, it doesn't really help them right now, but. And thus I triumph. <laughs> it seems I am the victor. We won.
That was a good match. Not bad. Your father always told me patience is a virtue. I guess charging full steam ahead isn't the key to victory. Target sighted. Oh, way over there. I was like, what target? Let me find your earring for you and give it back to you. Hello, ma'am. Ooh, shrimp and mayo. Leave it some food. You don't miss anything. Yeah, kind of roaming around checking out the town for a bit. I guess that's as far as we can go right now. But yeah, we can't board. I haven't seen any other beginner solo players, so that's fun. Is there a weapon shop? We need a weapon shop. Make sure we are up to the task. Pardon us. I thought the sign was saying an item shop, but I guess it's just a bar. It is possible we may both find a cure for Helgar's disease and locate Ray's missing companion. Prepare to depart at once. I know. The climb up Mount Cotterinth will undoubtedly be an arduous one. It would behoove us to be well prepared. You like be well prepared, but you also like get out there. Hurry it up. There's another item I missed, okay. Next berries. A lot of uh back alleys. But yeah, I want to get more weapons, but I don't see a weapon shop. Please don't tell me you have to put everyone's accessories back on. I haven't actually looked at our SP in a while. We have quite a bit. Maybe wait for a bit more. We just we need so much of it. See, they took it off for people I don't have on my team right now, which is really weird because I just want to be able to put change them up whenever I feel like it. Instead of having to go and re-equip everything. I don't know what I had on them. Now some more guts. More health. I wonder if there's maybe a setting to keep their things on them. That would be really nice. No, really nice. Mount Cotterinth. Hmm? It looms over the northern part of Cotterinth. Have you ever been, Uncle Midas? It is a veritable treasure trove for medicinal herbs. I have been there once or twice to forage for them. Interesting. You believe me, don't you? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, I believe you. We have company. I see them as well. There's a legend about these mountains, you know. Has to do with an enchantress and a prince. I'm listening. Yep. <clears throat> a long, long time ago, when Mount Cotterin was part of the Kingswood, a beautiful enchantress fell in love with a young prince. But their love was not meant to be. And for attempting to beguile the prince, the Enchantress was sentenced to death by a thousand arrows. With her dying breath, she cursed these lands, twisting the branches of trees into sharp, deadly arrowheads, and befouling the air with a scent of rot and decay. The end. Oh, is that all? You're telling me we're headed right for some type of cursed mountain? It's not really cursed, it's just a story to keep kids away. 
The mountains here are really dangerous. More dangerous than most. People have come up with all sorts of tall tales about them. Even so, the part about the miasma gives me pause. There may be poisonous flora releasing pollen, or fissures leaking volcanic gases. We should be careful. Ahoy! Ouch! Welch, a beautiful merchant magnate with genius level smarts. There is something I require at this time. When you have a moment, please come to my house in Delric. I will talk to you then. Welch, why are you very uh, calm and gentle with that instead of get over here? Okay, we can go there, no problem. But we do have other side quests to do, but it's probably a good idea to get Welch's done as quick as possible, huh? Well, there's a chest I missed. <laughs> it's so big. Oh yeah, that's what I was trying to do the map so I can warp back. Kind of weird, it's like, go to... Delric. I can warp straight to the mines? Uh, I mean, it would be okay. There's 27. Heir of the King's brother. Shooting stars. I miss somebody. Are we entirely certain whoever was spotted on Mount Cotterinth bears some connection to the spread of the rot? No, we're not. I just think she does. But she could. Who knows? It might be a different person than who we were expecting. Do I have what you want, mister? I don't really mind. Nope. Don't know where to find it either. This Superhuman beauty. <laughs> yes, Leticia? Perhaps there is something you need from me? Oh, pardon me. I fear I lost myself in admiration. Lost in admiration? Yes. That is to say, your profile as you are standing is as beautiful as any work of art that one could imagine. Did I disturb you? No, you did not. However, I think work of art is going much too far. I must disagree. Elena, you are certainly beautiful. Especially... Oh, I get a choice. You have such lovely hair. Lovely air about you. Lovely eyes. I like your hair. Your silky hair. It is gorgeous. Is that so? No one has ever said that kind of thing to me before. I am a little surprised. Oh, truly? Yes. I am an android. My appearance was designed by my creators to avoid inciting feelings of discomfort. I myself am not aware of it in particular. You don't say. Regardless of whether it was made by someone, I do think your silky smooth hair falls upon you so perfectly, Elena. <laughs> Thank you very much. That was sweet. Okay, I like that private action. Now I want to go to all the cities and see if there's something new. Oh. There's so many to run through, plus I had to run through the mountain and everything. I do have to go to the mountain later on. That'll be so much to go through. Where's the rest of my team? Is Elena the one over here? Yeah. Leticia, we deeply appreciate your help in searching for Chloe. I guess I could just warp to the towns and see if there's any private actions that way. That should be okay, right? Oh, right by somebody. 
Hello, where are you? You give an old man flashbacks surrounding me with so many members of the royal family. Sorry? Not sorry? I'm glad that cousin of yours is so quick on the uptake. Is the whole extended royal family like the both of you? Probably not. Yeah, I'm glad that cousin. Probably not. Yeah, so let's check out the other towns real quick. At least a bit. Oh, I didn't see I'd miss a thing. Oh, this <laughs> one so actually does tell you when. Well, that's fine. Yeah, I'm glad that cousin of yours is. Uh huh. Hiya, Baird. Are we entirely certain? Maybe it just doesn't matter what town you're in. You give an old man flat. As long as you go talk to them. Ready to head for Mount Cotterand? Leticia. Maybe I don't have to go look around everywhere. Maybe it's saying, hey, there's an event you might miss. Maybe it's, uh... Private action. Unfortunately, I'm still stuck here. You see, there are these frogs around. Gigantic frogs. Humongous frogs. I can't handle them. I just can't. Could you perhaps do something about them for me? All right. Native pest of the forest. When down to explore Larset village, a frog in Larset wield, causing travelers trouble. You must defeat it. Feed two kagodos. Okay, that's easy. I heard the stories, but seeing them in the flesh, I simply cannot abide them. Please help me. Yeah, you're going to have to walk around those. <laughs> you have new goods. What have you. I don't know what kind of new goods you think you have, but they're not great. Uh, you can have Beak Feather, sure. Glad to be of assistance. And what? Oh, I forgot to talk to Welch. That Glad falls to in the other assistance. town. I forgot. Well, that was indeed fruitful. All right. Okay, well, next time we'll go talk to Welch and we will fight toads, maybe? We'll see. But thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and have an awesome, awesome day.